What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Shiny Shuriken stream. We are live. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I am here for the 800th consecutive time uh, attempting to get Shiny Shelmet. I am well over 2,500 eggs, but we're still out here. Still trying to get this stupid shiny. Yo, what's up, Brian? Yo, been a while, man. Hope, you, hope you're well. Um, what's up, Iris? Uh, it doesn't look like you voted, so make sure you vote, bro. Because otherwise you click to McDonald's and then you still say A&W. But what a fire answer. I'm actually with you on that, bro. I used to go to A&W uh, when I lived in Fargo, North Dakota. We had a couple of A&Ws. They all shut down while I still lived there, sadly. And I loved A&W. Used to go get the frosted mug, a chili cheese dog, and chili cheese fries. And the chili cheese fries fire i like that answer i like that answer just started my violet should i do a nuzlocke um you've you've probably played through the game before so i would recommend yes to have a little bit more fun with it uh i think there actually is like online if you look up uh scarlet and violet nuzlocks um there is actually actually a recommended path based on your starter that you select to make it a little bit more difficult too um, so if you want to make it a little more challenging for yourself, go check that out. I think I saw something like that. Like, if you pick Fue Coco, you go this way. If you pick Spurgatito, you go this way. If you pick Quaxley, it recommended you go this way. Um, because since you can do the gems in, like, technically any order, um, yeah. So I had, I, I hit the gym tonight, got a delicious meal of shrimp scampi. Yo, what's up, Andrew? How's it going? Uh, and now we're here. I watched the pilot episode for How I Met Your Mother for I don't know how many times. But it's been a long time since I've gone through that series, so I might rewatch through it just for fun. <coughs> oh, I forgot how bad it was sometimes. Oh, so bad. Andrew, how you been, bro? How you been? Let's see here. What's new with me? What's new with me? Nothing. I don't think anything. Uh, I I got I ended up chill Siri chill 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 series chill 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 Siri chill. Um, I ended up uh, working super late last night, getting to the gym super late, so no stream last night. Uh, unfortunately, so that's why we out here tonight. Uh, still don't have that dang shaman, huh, Mac? Nah, nah. I don't got it. I am convinced that this will be the hunt that I'm on for the rest of my life. So, here we are. I also haven't posted a short in the last couple of days. Um, I'll get I'll get some shorts out the, uh, Wednesday through Friday here. Um, I got... I'm so excited. I've got just a few, couple days of work left. Tomorrow and Thursday, and I'm off. And then it's the weekend. Then Monday, Bishmi should be here. Uh, I think I'll work probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'll be off Thursday, Friday for sure. We'll see what else intermittently comes up if I want to take off extra days or not. But can't wait. Gonna level cap yourself as well. I like it. I like it. I like it. Nuzlocke in the newer games is pretty tough. You know, when I Nuzlocke Sword, I had to basically, like, look away from the screen walk into a route and the overworld pokemon i spotted first and i had to be honest with myself the overworld pokemon i spotted first was the one i went for <clears throat> but then i could also do a grass encounter and i could choose between the two and i liked that it was fun i thought it was fun i liked those rules um there's a new greninja card coming out if you guys haven't seen it i'm so excited for it it looks so good because now I play competitively with the TCG and I love Greninja. So I'm going to build a Greninja deck. I am so... It looks so good. 170 base. Single energy move. Woo-wee. Uh, it'll be super effective on things like Iron Hands. I'm excited about that. You're saying I should do first encounter from every route? Yeah, so Scarlet and Violet, my, pro my thought process with... <clears throat> Nuzlocking was like you enter a route 
And the first overworld Pokemon you see, that's your encounter. You could do something crazy, like, you could just, like, kind of, like, close your eyes, run into the route, run around until you get into an encounter. That'd be kind of fun, too. But there's chances you just get stuck somewhere or something like that, you know. That's what I would do. I don't know if we get it tonight. I don't even know how many we're on. We have 2,417 Shelmet released in Pokemon Home. And then whatever is in our boxes here. So here's, let's see, we got 2,447, 2,747. No. Math. So let's just look at this here. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight full boxes. Eight times 30 is 240 plus 2417 equals 2657 plus 14 plus 7. 2,678. <laughs> I'm at 2,000. 678! Oh my god, it's terrible. Man. I, you know, when it comes to the fry question, I wasn't sure what other locations to put up there along with McDonald's. And I feel like if you like In N Out, like you really stand the whole fries and everything, which I don't, I don't think In N Out fries were very good at all. I didn't care for them. You'll probably have a conversation with your wife and she'll ask what you've been up to and you'll just say, Shelmet has ruined me. Bro, your great, great grandkids are going to hunt this thing. Uh, I hope not, bro. I hope not. I forgot how long the start of Violet is. Those were wild times, huh, Brian? Wild times back then. That first week, just doing Dynamax. Nope, not Dynamax. <laughs> Terror Raids. Doing terror raids with all the people using playthrough skellies. Oh boy. I mean, it was a good time. I'm not going to lie. It was a good time, but it was hilarious. It's like, bro, all right, little Timmy, please don't bring your playthrough Skeledurge. We're trying to beat this six star. Back before everybody had all the resources in the world to build their Pokemon. It was good times. Good times. It was a struggle. It was a struggle, man. It was a struggle, for sure. I'm honestly surprised that Wendy's fries aren't on the poll. Wendy's fries are so good. I like them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put them in the McDonald's caliber. You know, I wouldn't put them in McDonald's caliber. Um, I like Wendy's. I did think about Wendy's. I felt like I put in and out. I put Burger King on there just to be like the direct competitor of McDonald's, you know, because like I feel like McDonald's Burger King's got that rivalry. But um, yeah, I don't know. Wendy's are good. Oh, you know what I should have put on there is Chick Fil A. I feel like Chick Fil A over Burger King would have got some votes. I feel like people definitely um, love the Chick Fil A waffle fries. My two favorite fast food fries are Wendy's and McDonald's. I mean, McDonald's goaded. I, I'm sorry, but I don't think that there is actually another answer. Uh, yo, man, I was right about to say that. Yeah, <laughs> Dill Pickle coming in with the Chick-fil-A answer. Yo, I, I will tell you what. I don't think anything truthfully or honestly beats McDonald's fries all time. All time, right? Like, we're talking Jordan. We're talking MJ here, okay? We're talking 23. That's McDonald's fries. But, but there's some Kobe's and there's some LeBron's out there and people are going to fight for that argument. Trust me. Trust me. Um, here's what I'll say about Chick-fil-A. I like Chick. I like Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. Don't get me wrong. I love Chick-fil-A. It's a great, great piece of chicken. Great piece of chicken on some super cheap generic middle school level bun but their waffle fries are good they're super generic super plain nothing special about them it's the sauce it is the sauces bro 
Chick-fil-A is 100% the sauces and not the actual fries to me. The fries are good. I, I mean, who doesn't? Ah, I love curly fries, waffle fries, straight fries. Mm, I love fries. I love fries. Don't get me wrong. But who lives in North Dakota? What's up for it? Wait, is a and W only a North Dakota thing? Like nerds gotta be living in North Dakota. I don't. I don't live in North Dakota. I live in Florida. I'm a Florida man. I fight gators. <laughs> um, I would say, if y'all don't have a and Ws, a and Ws here in Nevada. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind then. I was gonna say if you guys don't have a and W, you're missing out. But never mind. It's in Iowa. Okay. A and W so good. I was actually really sad when our A and Ws closed. We had two. We had one on the north side and one on the south side of, of Fargo. We had people think far like North Coast. We we actually had like a like multiple little like it was like North Fargo, West Fargo, South Fargo. Um, there was like suburbs of Fargo. Like I, I feel like people underestimate how big it is. A and W fries are the best. They're good. They're good. Iris said A and W fries like right at the start of the stream. A and W fries, top tier, goaded, you know? And for me, I say chili cheese. Like chili cheese A and W fries? Oh my god. Oh my god. So good. They're Canadian? Canada? What are, what's Canadian? A and W is Canadian? No. No, it's not. Ow, I also slapped my leg and I have I have a sunburn and it hurts. A is A N W Canadian. No, it's not Canadian. Iris is Canadian. Iris isn't Canadian. It's not Canadian. Oh, yo. I haven't had A&W in forever, bro. Hold on. I got to look and see if there's an A&W near me. Bro, I got to see if there's an A&W near me. Uh, Google Maps. A N W. Closest one. <laughs> Yo, the closest one is a hundred miles away. 101 miles. Where is this? Auburndale, Florida. Auburndale? Where the heck is Auburndale? Where's Orlando in relation to this? Okay, so it looks like there's one, like, sort of on the way to Orlando. Mm, might have to hit that up. Might have to hit that up. Wait, Iris is Canadian? Iris is Canadian? Imagine driving 100 miles just for some a &W. Well, I'm heading to Orlando, though. I, I gotta go to the Orlando Regional in, like, two weeks. The Orlando Regional is just, is, is what, April 12th? It's 10 days away and I haven't practiced. I don't even know what team I want to use. I feel like I'm overshadowed by this shelmet. Yeah, I am. I'm Canadian. You're Canadian, though? That's for real. It's crazy to me. Ooh, McDonald's is coming down. McDonald's 50%. 25%. Somebody actually said in and out That's crazy crazy to me i think in and out has like the some of the worst fries like their fries are trash if it's if okay so here's the thing though like if you talk about just straight up fries not animal style can't get them animal style i think in and out has terrible fries have you had poutine oh no nah, yeah of course bro i live i grew up on the canadian border of course i've had poutine poutine is delicious we had a place called worst uh it was well worst it's german like for bratwurst. Uh, so we had like a uh, Wurst beer hall and they had mm, chef's guess, some of the best poutine in the world. Like it's well, obviously not in the world, but in relation to my distance where I lived. 
Uh, but yeah, no, I've had I've had poutine. Super good, super good. I am born and raised in Manitoba. You're in Manitoba, Iris? Wow. That's so surprising. I did not, I would not have guessed that. Manitoba, where is that? I mean, I, I'm just looking at where it's at in Canada. Uh, let me see it on a map, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Winnipeg is in Manitoba. I've been to Winnipeg. We had a school fr uh, field trip to Winnipeg. How far north are you? Are you like super far north in Manitoba? Like, are you, uh, are you like, uh, do you live in like the woods? I've said this a hundred times, bro. I have literally never listened to you say that you are Canadian. I feel like I would have remembered this conversation. I feel like I would have known this because I would have reacted in this similar fashion. Iris is Canadian. It all makes sense why they're slow. <laughs> Born in Iowa, raised in Alabama. Really? That's interesting, too. That is very interesting. Born in Iowa, raised in Alabama. How do you like that? Yeah, I live in the woods. Do you really? Oh my gosh. Yo, that's crazy, Iris. Do you know how I like to, do you like know how to do outdoorsy, woodsy things? Do you know how to do things? Like, can you build a fire? without lighter fluid do you hunt do you have to hunt for your food to your for your meals yeah i chop down trees i mean chopping down trees is not really a, a and i'm I, I know we could make a conversation on this but i'm gonna say it's not really a skill like chopping down a tree Like, I know there's precision to it in some capacities, but if you're just chopping down the tree to chop down the tree to get wood, there's nothing special. We have a farm. Lumberjack Iris confirmed. Uh-uh. Nah. Nah. Chopping down a tree is a lot easier than you think. It's a lot easier. I've chopped down trees, bro. I've chopped down trees. I chopped down a tree in my backyard and bark <laughs> Yo, when we bought our house in Fargo, when we bought our first house, there was this beautiful, beautiful willow tree in the backyard. And so, like it lived that, like we moved in and it was maybe alive and then <laughs> like, the winter came and I, it died, bro. I had to chop it down and I was so sad because it was like, one, it was the only tree in the backyard and two, it was like, bro, it was such a cool tree. It was like a big reason why we bought the house that and because we could afford the house yeah hmm you guys make sure you do me a favor hit that like button show some love in the stream for me please make sure we uh make sure we show the love helps get it promoted out you know meet new people make friends i've never cut down a tree i don't know how to do it bro it, it literally is just like if you have an axe like i i've cut down a tree with with saws, with axes, with a hatchet. Went fishing, all break, didn't catch nothing. Wait, what? <sighs> Yo, I'm going fishing in a month. I'm going deep sea fishing. We're gonna go fish some red grouper. Yo, Edgy, you know, someone who has, as someone who has so, ha wait, wait. You know, as someone who has so far had many fries in his life, I can tell you McDonald's has the better fries. Uh, that's what I'm saying. McDonald's is goaded. McDonald's is the goat. Salted with the tears of underpaid high school employees. If, you're, if you want to hear a hot take for it, here's my opinion. Places like McDonald's should be staffed by underpaid uh, high school employees. The entire purpose of working at something like a fast food restaurant shouldn't be to make a substantial income. It, you're there to gain momentary work experience. 
you're there to understand what it's like to be in a work environment, right? That is like the basic of basic. Working, like I'm gonna use, McD I've never worked in fast food myself and I, I don't envy those people. I've worked in some retail stuff. Like I've worked in retail, I've worked at, um, I worked at Hollister when I was a kid. Um, I worked at a place called Fleet Farm. It's basically, I don't know, Menards, Home Depot style thing, but more farm related. Um, so I've dealt with people. I worked in the auto section. Like I've dealt with people and it's like you, you learn what puts you in good graces with your boss. You learn how to fall in line, that kind of stuff. And I, I don't necessarily find that to be a bad thing. You shouldn't be, like, McDonald's should be reserved. Like, McDonald's, Taco Bell, that kind of stuff. Like, all those places should be reserved for, for high school kids. High school kids shouldn't be out trying to, like, get, like, jobs, jobs, you know? McDonald's is good for fries and seeing cute boys doing a job I am confident in doing. Oh, I am not confident in doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I also do fires without lighter fluid a lot. How we get rid of trash. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So, like, I don't know. When when it comes to, like, the, the country minimum wage, I think there's problems. Don't get me wrong. There's problems with the minimum wage of the U.S. However, the minimum wage is not meant to be something that you are supposed to substantiate your life with. So I disagree with like the, the narrative that's like, oh, you know, people are underpaid. Cause you're you're only supposed to be working part-time. That's supposed to be additional income. You know, your focus at that time is supposed to be school. Now there's, trust me, there's a billion more problems wrong with schools and education and the system like that than there is the pay at McDonald's. I think the pay at McDonald's is fine. I don't think that somebody who, you know, doesn't have work experience, gets their first job at McDonald's, um, gets put on the line to, 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 to make a burger, right? So they literally take a burger out of a, a bucket pan thing, put it on, you know, put take a bun out, put it down, take the burger out, put it on there, put some onion, ketchup, mustard mix on there, put the top bun on, wrap it up, put it in a bag. How could you justify, how could you justify somebody making something like $15 doing that? I have held a lot of jobs in my life and, and I haven't always had the knowledge to speak on this subject, but now I do, I feel. And I'll tell you what, McDonald's does not qualify for like you shouldn't be making if you're if you're literally just like on the lot and I know McDonald's people put up with a lot. I know that. I'm not trying to get around and say like it's a it's the world's easiest job. But it's the world's it it's one of the most basic jobs. One of the most basic jobs. People are underpaid but not at McDonald's. I don't know what the pay is at McDonald's, by the way. I don't actually know what the pay is at McDonald's by by position. <clears throat> I'm pretty. I'm. I'm going off an assumption that it's minimum wage, and I believe minimum wage is eight twenty five in the country right now. U S minimum wage. Oh my God, yo, it's seven twenty five. Jesus, that's disgusting. All right, it should be eight. The national average wage for a McDonald's employee is $12.96 per hour. Wait, no, that says for a delivery driver. McDonald's delivers? As of March 26, 2024, the average hourly pay for a McDonald's crew in Florida is $10.19 an hour. Okay. I don't think that that's, I don't think that's terrible. The pay for me in my town is 15 bucks. I uh, don't know how much it is for others. See, like, that's a lot. No one's picking Burger King's fries in the poll. Let's all, I, I gotta be honest. Burger King made a change to their fries a while ago and they've never been as good. 
They're not, they're not in the argument, trust me. I think that's exactly how it should be, Andrew. If I wanted a job in a franchise like that, I'd rather Starbucks. Burger King fries are good, but not better than McDonald's. No, they're not better than McDonald's. I don't mind them. I think they're okay. Okay, but like, for me, uh, Dookie King. No, no, no. Don't be saying that for it, bro. Come on, though. Burger King's good. I like Burger King. People rip on Burger King, but Burger King is good, bro. Have you ever had a flame broiled Whopper? I'll take I'll take Burger King. Uh, okay, so if I want like a plain old cheeseburger, just your most basic thought process cheeseburger, I'm gonna hit McDonald's. But if I'm choosing between a Big Mac and a Whopper, I'm taking a Whopper every day. I'm taking a Whopper all day every day. Burgers, yeah, burgers over McDonald's, exactly. Yeah, bro. No, the burgers are way better at Mc, at at Burger King. I don't a hundred percent love sesame seed buns, but they're all right. They're all right. Uh, the Whopper though, nah, their their sandwiches are so much better. McDonald's basic cheeseburger just hits different. It hits different. Um, but nah, like anyway. Like, I would say when it comes... What's the... Because when I was searching this, I want to switch this to Walmart. What do you make at Walmart? Walmart in Florida. Average hourly pay ranges from approximately fifteen twenty four per hour for a merchandising associate. Why can't we call it like something like a shelf stalker? to $32.62 per hour for a refrigeration technician. Average Walmart salary ranges from approximately 20,000 per year to 130,000 per year for artist? What the hell is out artist? What is artist? What is an artist position at Walmart? Now I want a burger from Burger King, man. I'm so hungry right now. I should be, not be talking about food. I did eat. I try. I had a small portion of shrimp scampi and a Caesar salad. So I would assume the place called Burger King is better burgers than a place called McDonald's. I, I get your assumption there. You would have to be living under a rock to make that assumption, but I get your assumption. Interesting. Oh, probably advertisement. That's a good guess. That's a good guess for it. I can't, I don't like to divulge stuff about my actual job. I don't share a lot about what I do for a living. Um, in a capacity, I do hire people. I have, I have a lot of people that work in like work for me. Um, <clears throat> and I find that the positions that work for me are very complicated roles. Uh, and we hire people at like $20 an hour. And it changes a little bit by some states, but for the most part, like we hire people around the $20 hour mark. And to me, that job is hard. There are some benefits and luxuries of the position. Comparatively, if you said something like McDonald's or Walmart, right? Um, like, do I think somebody working at McDonald's or Walmart should make more than like the employees that I hire? No, I don't. But there is also a, probably a very, a very fair chance that the employees of McDonald's and Walmart put up with more crap than my employees do. Whenever I think about Max's job, I just think he's a bajillionaire. I am not. I am not. No. <laughs> I'm not because I make bad financial decisions. <laughs> uh, I could literally just grab any set. Here, here's some Pokemon cards here. Here's my bad financial decisions <laughs> right here. <laughs> Why is it that when Max streams, I hear Return of the Mac in my head? Because you're a person of culture. <laughs> Popeyes has better chicken than KFC. <laughs> ah, that's a tough statement there, Edgy. Uh, old McDonald had a farm that slaughtered his own cattle while he sold the bad cattle to the king, king of burgers. Mm, I, I like in the woods. It's close enough to living under a rock. True. 
Popeyes has better chicken than KFC. Here's the thing. I know KFC is terrible. I know KFC is terrible for you. But I'm sorry, you cannot beat some some standard original style secret recipe stuff. Um if you are getting like straight up chicken drumsticks, like a if you get like a bucket meal from KFC, and then you get a bucket of chicken from Popeyes. Now here's the difference though. If I go to Popeyes, I get the chicken strips. I get the spicy chicken strips. And that stuff, so good. So good. But I disagree that Popeye's chicken is better than KFC chicken. It's greasy and terrible and awful, but you I don't know how people can deny that flavor, man. I don't know how people can deny that flavor. Popcorn chicken? I don't know. Popeye's chicken is good. I'm not saying Popeye's chicken isn't good. That's not the statement I'm making at all. I like Popeye's. Trust me. But if you make a direct comparison to what KFC is known for, KFC wins. You are sentenced to eat three Popeye's biscuits. With nah, never eat the biscuits, bro. Throw those things away. Trash. Trash. Popeye's should stop making biscuits. Popeye's needs to stop making biscuits. That is, it is absolute trash. I have eaten approximately one to two Popeye's biscuits in my entire life. And I immediately knew I'm never eating another biscuit in my life. Started the Nuzlocke. We are gaming. Let's go. What's up, Brian? If you could make a meal with stuff taken from different fast food places, what would you make? Oh, my God. <laughs> if I had to make a meal out of just tons of fast food spots. Okay, this is obviously my opinion, y'all. This is my opinion. Popeye's biscuits are so good. You are wild right now. Yo, those are the driest. You are all. Oh. First time I had pie ever I had, had was fluffy and delicious. And now they are dry and literal. <laughs> yes. Maybe. I have never had a fluffy fluffy delicious one in my life they have all been awful they have all been awful also don't get me started on bojangles bro don't get me started that stuff was so advertised and it was trash absolute trash used to have honey with their biscuits that would be fire bro okay a meal from the fast let me just okay here's what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you what i think okay i'm gonna pick a fast food spot and I'm going to tell you what one food item they have that is better than anyone else. Okay? Anyone that does the similar product, this is what they do better than anyone else. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with the easiest one in the world. This has got to be the easiest thing in the world, guys. Okay? Fast food spot. Best fast food item they have better than anybody in the similar industry. Taco Bell chicken quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla. Ain't nobody doing chicken quesadilla like Taco Bell. No one. No one. They have a million great products, but the chicken quesadilla is king. Anybody disagree? Does anybody disagree? It is the chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell. Number one. Number one. If I'm making a meal, that is in the middle. Chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell. I don't think you... You cannot name me a chicken quesadilla from a fast food spot... That beats out Taco Bell. You can't. You can't. There's no shot. Not a Taco Bell fan? Bro. Have you ever had a chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell, Andrew? I don't go to Taco Bell ever since I got food poisoning from a chicken quesadilla. Unless I'm getting a freeze. Our Taco Bell near us closed down. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, hold up, I gotta Google. I gotta Google something. Most popular item at Taco Bell. What? Oh, my dreams are being dashed. Okay, the internet's telling me number one, Crunchwrap Supreme. Number two, Chalupa Supreme. Number three, Soft Taco.
four bur two uh, burrito supremes five cheesy gordita crunch six chicken quesadilla okay i agree with that list i agree with the list i'm not in love with it okay but here's the thing i will agree with the soft taco i also think that taco bell has the best fast food soft taco out there fast food soft taco taco bell i love soft tacos from taco bell i love doritos locos nachos tacos <laughs> i agree i also do love uh steak chalupa supremes i've had a billion of those contrast supremes delicious order a lot of them i agree with that okay taco bell though for me goaded item right at the top chicken quesadilla i get that every time i go there every single time and i love taco bell um the only time i'm eating taco bell is if i'm having munchies after some fun but that's till it actually happens okay all right, number two, McDonald's. Obviously, the Big Mac is their staple, their staple item. But for me, when I go to McDonald's, I get a basic cheese, a plain cheese, like their dollar menu double cheeseburger, okay? Because I don't think, like, the dollar menu double cheese is cheaper than their regular cheeseburger, I think, if you count the fact that you get a second burger patty. Okay, hold on, Andrew. Let me come back to the Chipotle thing. Okay, so I'll go with a basic cheeseburger and fries, okay? So I'm going to have a chicken quesadilla right in the middle, a basic cheeseburger and fries with a Coke. I'm a Coke person, not Sprite, not McDonald's Sprite. I'm not mixing on. It's good. It's good, but it's not as good as the Coke. I'm all for I'm all for the, uh, the McDonald's Coke over the McDonald's Sprite. I know that's blasphemy to a lot of people, but for me, it's the Coke. Okay, so I've got my drink, I've got my fries, I've got my cheeseburger, I've got my chicken quesadilla. Um, every time I go to McDonald's, I get nothing else and only nuggets, and it will always be the nugget. Oh, that's right. Let's put a... Wait, wait, wait. You're right, you're right, you're right. We got to put a four-piece nug in there. We got to put a four-piece nug with some sweet and sour dipping sauce. Okay? We got to put the sweet and sour dipping sauce with the four-piece nug. All right, that's on the table. That is there. That is true. That is true. Nugs are in a class of their own from Ch from McDonald's. No matter how fake and awful they are, they are delicious and wonderful. Okay. What else? Let me think here. I mean, I could go to Burger King. If I go to Burger King, um, I get a lot of stuff. Like, I I actually really like Burger King chicken sandwiches. They got. I think they got good chicken sandwiches. Um, I'd probably get, uh, I'd probably say that the, the top item from McDo from Burger King, I'm going to go with the Whopper. Whopper with bacon and cheese. A bacon cheese Whopper from Burger King. Okay, that's on the table. Wendy's? Ooh, I'm really glad you brought up Wendy's. Wendy's. Asiago uh, chicken sandwich. Asiago chicken sandwich. And a Frosty. And a Frosty. Chocolate Frosty. Okay, that's on the table. Asiago cheese, a chicken sandwich. Uh, oh, the lemonades are amazing. The lemonades are so good. I used to get them all the time for lunch. My my work when I was in person used to be right next to a Wendy's. I used to get it all the time. And I would get the Asiago chicken sandwich meal with a strawberry lemonade. Sometimes I'd, I'd flex up for a, for a Frosty, but most of the time it was lemonades. You're right, you're right, you're right. Carl's Jr. That's like Hardee's, right? I would get their... Um, Oh man, Liz, I don't go there a lot because they are one of the greasiest spots in the entire world. But they they are good. It was the Oh man, it was the money no. Hold up here, hold up here. the frisco burger the frisco burger for me frisco burger from hardy's slash carl's jr that was up there loved it it was delicious i was like 21 <clears throat> or 22 years old i was working a liquor uh warehouse we would uh stock uh the trucks that would go out in the mornings to to stock liquor stores so we would just sling like 40, 50 pound boxes all night long, right? And my boss at the time, 
He was like, hey, you're doing a good job. I'm going to take you out for lunch. So he was like, hop in the truck. Let's go. So we go at like 9, like, no, it was like 10, 10.30 at night, okay? A lot of places were shutting down. And he's like, Hardee's, 24-7. Open 24 hours a day. Uh, so he he showed me the Frisco Burger. And that stuff, oh, it was so good. So good. Okay, so Frisco Burger from Carl's Jr. Hot Honey Chicken Burger. I've never had that. It sounds delicious, though. I don't like Burger King's nuggets. They are always burnt. You don't get the nuggets, bro. You get the chicken fries, Andrew. You get the chicken fries. What are we talking about? Nuggets from Burger King. It's chicken fries. Culver's? I've been to Culver's like twice in my entire life. Um, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you. Nothing for me lands on the table with Culver's. I don't go to Culver's. I've heard good things. Sounds good. What else is there? What else? Guys, hit me with some, hit me with some stuff. Oh, I got hit with Chipotle. So for me, Chipotle, it's a burrito bowl. It's a burrito bowl. I don't do burritos from Chipotle. My biggest annoyance with Chipotle is they don't mix up the burrito. I very quickly got annoyed with the burrito because there's a place called Pancheros. If you've never been to Pancheros, they mix up your burrito before they wrap it. And that's how it should be. You get an equal distribution bite in every burrito's delicious wonderment. But at Chipotle, they don't do that. Chipotle, they don't do that. So it's a burrito bowl for me. And for me, it's going to be their, um, their al pastor and a steak. It's going to be half double meats. It's going to be al pastor and steak. Arby's. Ooh, dill pickled. Good one. Good one. Bro, it's a, it's a basic uh, beef and cheddar. It's the basic beef and cheddar sandwich. That stuff is so good. It's timeless. And the curly fries. Curly fries from Arby's, I think, are... They're in the top 10 discussion. I think they're in the top 10 discussion for fries. I definitely think... They also have really... If you've never had the little buffalo chicken sliders from Arby's, yo, you gotta try it. They sauce the heck out of their buffalo chicken sliders. It is just dripping in sauce. It is so good. Arby's are kind of a hit or miss for me. I get that. I've heard that a lot. I've heard that a lot. <clears throat> Not from Burger King, though. This is something that's long but gone, but Costco Polish dogs were the goat, but now they are gone. <clears throat> are they? Do they just do, like, just the hot dog now? Culver's is amazing? I don't, I, I've never had... I mean, I just don't have it. White Castle? Mm. You know, I was in... Where was I? I was on vacation or something. I was somewhere. I was in a hotel and I was drinking. And there was these dudes in the hotel lobby and they were eating White Castle. And I was hung. Oh, I was in Knoxville. I was in Knoxville. Knoxville, Kentucky? Yeah. No. Wait. Where was I? Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. I was in Louisville, Kentucky at my cousin's wedding. I had been drinking all night. We were back at the hotel. We were in the lobby. And there's these two dudes just pounding down White Castle burgers in the lobby. And I was like, bro, I've legitimately never had White Castle. He's like, are you kidding me? And I was like, no. I was like, where is it? He's like, no, 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 no. sit down, sit down, sit down. He's like, I'm a share. I got a lot. So he gives me a whole White Castle burger, you know, about the size of my eyeball, teeny. And he's like, you're going to hate this. You're going to hate this. He's like, it's awful. It's awful. But you have to eat it because once you start eating, you're like, okay, I still could eat like 16 of those though. So I ate one and then like he gave me some sauce to try. I poured it out, dipped it in the sauce, ate it. I was like, White Castle is trash. It's off the, it's off the table. White Castle is a hard no, hard pass. Get it out of here. I am against White Castle. I will not eat White Castle. We did Taco Bell. Del Taco, I, I don't think I've ever actually had Del Taco myself. In-N-Out? In-N-Out is an animal-style cheeseburger. In-N-Out is an animal-style cheeseburger. What a burger? I don't remember what I got there, but I like what a burger better than I like In-N-Out. Um, I, uh, Ashley, uh, uh, she loves In-N-Out. She loves In-N-Out. And we were so excited. The first time we got to have In-N-Out together was in Arizona. Um, and we went... 
Taco John's? Nah, deal pickle. You're speaking to my soul, bro. Where are where are you at in the world that you know of Taco John's? I grew up in Fargo, North Dakota. We had Taco John's. Bro, the potato Olays and the crunchy chicken and potato burrito? That's on the table. That is on the table. White Castle is something I would eat if I had dementia and forgot how she was. Yeah, I feel like it's like when you drink, like when you eat White Castle, it's because you're just extremely high or drunk. Like that's, the, and, and it's it's the close thing and it's open. But it is not good. In and out is goaded, especially with the well done fries. No. Ugh. The well done fries. God. Four by four animal style cheeseburger, strawberry milkshake, and animal fries. Yeah. Okay. That's a legit order. That is a legit order. It's pretty much the only way to eat in and out. The only way to eat in and out. <clears throat> but I feel like in and out fell victim to being too overhyped for me. So I went into it thinking that this was going to change my life, guys. Like, I ate this burger, and I thought it was going to be, like, monumental, life-changing moment. And it was just super mid. It was super average. Best fast food breakfast? I mean, again, McDonald's is pretty goaded in that arena. Fast food breakfast? I don't get a lot of fast food breakfast because, bro, breakfast food is, like, but I would say, I would I would almost put Waffle House in that discussion of fast food breakfast. Um, but I don't really do fast food breakfast because there's so many amazing breakfast spots to go sit down and have a, a delicious breakfast meal. I couldn't agree with you more on that, Mac. Uh, but Waffle House, Waffle House, it's trash, but it is so good. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, those waffles, dude. Oh, it's just, I guarantee it's just pure sugar. I guarantee it's pure sugar, but it's so good. So good. Uh, what else is there? What other spots are there? We have a, we have some steak and shakes around here. I don't really go. I haven't had anything for them. Waffle House has found a new host. Waffle House is really good. Uh, what else do I hit up for fast food? Mm, Jimmy John's? Anybody know Jimmy John's? I love steak and shake. I've never, I've actually haven't eaten there. I got a shake from there. Very good. I like the shake. Very good. Nothing amazing, but it was really good. <coughs> Frisco melt? I'll try it. I will try it for it. I will try it, bro. Ooh, I just had a new spot. What was it? Oh my God, what was it called? Oh, man, what is it called, bro? Oh, it's a chicken spot. I can't remember. What is the name of their restaurant? It's a fast food spot down here. I don't know where else it is. Chicken. <coughs> Oh, it was Pollo Tropical. Pollo Tropical, bro. Oh, my God. It was so good. It was so good, bro. Cuban-style chicken sandwich. And it had, it had, um, it had Gouda. It had a Gouda-melted chicken chunk. Like, it was, ch like, actual grilled chicken breast chopped up into chunks, uh, not, like, shredded or fake chicken stuff. It was, like, oh, it was so good, dude. It was so good. And they had some kind of sauce on there. Pollo Tropical, bro. So good. So good. Jack in the Box? I've never had it. I've heard good things. I've never had it. Heard good things. What about Subway? Subway. Subway's meh. It's good. I have it every now. I, I, I have it like maybe once or twice a year tops. I've gotten years, with, I've gotten years without it. To me, Jimmy John's is the better sub spot. I'll go get Jimmy John's over Subway any day. I like go for their giant drinks. I've never been. Who's Jack and why is he in a box? Exactly. Exactly. Pollo Tropical. We've got a, uh, something called a Zaxby's down here. I've never been. Haven't been to it yet. I'm going to go try it sometime. It's another chicken spot. Pollo Tropical, though. Super good. 
Um... <clears throat> Dairy Queen? Y'all y'all mess with Dairy Queen? Little chicken strip meal? Little chicken strip with the butter homestyle butter ranch? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa, little, little chocolate malt. Chocolate shake action. Dairy Queen for sure, for sure. What's this? Slow roast. Ooh, that looks really good. Uh, I would put Buffalo Wild Wings pretty much in that conversation. What does DoorDash have as, uh, what's fast food listed on DoorDash? They got Popeyes, uh, McDonald's, Wendy's, <coughs> Burger King, Culver's, uh, Burger Thigh. Burger Fi is a local fast food burger spot here. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's local. I don't know where it's at. Super good. Probably, I would say that they're the best burger. They're the best fast food burger. They're amazing. They're so good. Taco Bell. Five Guys. It's good. It's way too expensive. It falls apart like crazy. Their fries are good. But I don't ever eat at Five Guys. It's just, it's unreasonable. It's good, but it's just not good enough for me. I can't rationalize the cost of it. Long John Silvers. I don't ever eat at Long John Silvers. I have, I've had A&W in my life. And for me, it would be a chili cheese. Oh, Sonic? Chili cheese dog from Sonic. Chili cheese dog from Sonic for sure, for sure. Wingstop is pretty good. I do like Wingstop. I know a lot of people don't like Wingstop. KFC, uh, I'd probably go with like a cravings bowl or, or just straight up chicken. Panda Express, bro. And it's orange chicken all the way. Jack was a psychopathic killer in the 90s. He was most notorious for attacking chicken farmers. And when he was caught, he was sentenced to an insane asylum for life. Is that real? It sounds super realistic. How is Long John Silver still a company? <clears throat> I think they make 95% of their profits during, uh, uh, what is it? Like, Lent? Is it Lent? I grew up Catholic. I should know this stuff. I think it's Lent, where Catholics and, stuff, and Christians and stuff can't eat meat on Fridays, but they can eat fish. So they eat a ton of fish. So everybody goes to freaking Long John Silver's. I remember that was like a huge thing. I remember that was a huge thing. Everybody was like just crushing Long John Silver's and McDonald's fish sandwiches on Fridays. Like there were, I remember seeing a news story one time about the fact that like McDonald's had to put out signs and like turn people away because people were like showing up for the fish and it's all gone and like super early. It's like, what? The, what? what? I never, uh, the hypocrisies of the Catholic religion and, and other religions, really. All religions have a, immense hypocrisies. But growing up, like, if you grow up, you just, you hit a point where you're like, what are we doing? What are we doing? We can't eat meat today? Jesus didn't, he didn't eat anything. It was 40 days and 40 nights of nothing. How is this, like, acknowledging the struggle, you know? Ramadan. Ramadan, it's like a straight-up fast from sun uh, rise to sunset, right? And then you get to eat a little bit when you when the sun sets. But, like, how is, how is the Christian equivalent of Lent sacrificing, bro? Like, there's no sacrificing. Oh, it's such a hypocrisy. Bro, I, I, fast food spots... As, as bad as they are and as unethical at all is it's they got some fire fire items man like yo stuff's delicious i could go sadly i could go like on and on and on about fast food best pizza 
Best pizza spot, like from the typical chains? I'm going to say something extremely controversial. I'm going to say something very controversial. For me, it's Papa John's. And then it's Domino's. I'm going to upset a lot of people with that answer, but it's Papa John's. And then it's Domino's. I have the best fries. What up, Barry? Yo, what's up? Uh, it's For me, it's Papa John's. Because one, you get the garlic dipper. Bro, the garlic dipper from Papa John's is next level. Man, like, you crush the pizza, and then you dip the crust, and then you... Oh. Mm, amazing. Papa John's, the garlic sauce is good. The garlic sauce, bro. I would say it's probably not Papa John's if they don't do garlic sauce. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. One single time in my life, I ordered a Papa John's pizza. Um, and this was back home in Fargo, and I think Ashley was out of town or something. I was streaming, and I didn't get the garlic dipper. And bro, it literally it ruined the whole, it ruined the whole order for me. For me, it's honestly Pizza Hut. And I get that. It's a fair answer. I'll tell you this, though. I never eat Pizza Hut. I have never found their pizza particularly impressive. I feel like Pizza Hut is oversauced. It's oversauced. And it's just too generic. It's just too generic. It's just too bland for me. You've had the garlic sauce and you didn't like it. But some opinions are wrong. That's a tough one, Barry. You didn't like... I feel like you got to give it like three, four tries. <laughs> Never speak again. It's like one piece. You got to have it a hundred, a thousand times before it's good. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I mean, hey, to each their own. If you didn't like the garlic sauce, you didn't like the garlic sauce. But... I don't... I don't, I don't love pizza. I don't really get the Pizza Hut hype. Have you had the buffet at Pizza Ranch? Dill pickled, my man. My dude. Okay. So, yes, I have been to Pizza Ranch many times. Okay. And it has its moments. It has its moments. Overall, I'm not a Pizza Ranch fan. Uh, they have they have tons of pizzas. And you can request stuff. It comes out. But for the most, and I've hit the buffet, I've hit the buffet many times, bro. I've hit the buffet many times. Their dessert pizza, the apple cactus pizza, mm, bro, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's so good, so good. For the most part, I don't love Pizza Ranch. What's Pizza Ranch? Pizza Ranch is like a CC's. Down here in Florida, we've got CC's. I've never heard of Pizza Ranch. It's pretty much CC's, you guys. It literally even has the same dessert pizza. Although CC's has a cheesecake version that I just had for the first time. I went to CC's for the first time. Never been to CC's either, but you know what that one is? Pizza restaurant that my mom orders the most is Little Caesars. See, I loved Little Caesars when I was a kid, especially the breadsticks. Little Caesars breadsticks? Don't even, don't even challenge. Don't even challenge, bro. Don't even challenge. But, I mean, maybe Olive Garden, but, like, somewhat of different class of restaurants. Well, we'll Caesar's breadsticks are good. They're amazing. I remember when I was a kid, like, okay, and it, I felt like, I feel like times were obviously different. It goes without saying. When I was a kid, things were so much different in terms of fast food. My family used to go to this Little Caesar's, and it was like, like, this whole thing. Like, the family would get in the van... And we would drive to this Little Caesars drive through to get breadsticks. We'd get like three things of the breadsticks. It was like driving for a treat. And it was freaking breadsticks, bro. Freaking breadsticks. But it was like, we loved it. And I was just like, I was constantly just trying to steal an entire bag and wolf down an entire thing of breadsticks before my sisters could get one out of my bag. And I was like, give me my whole bag. I'm trying to be a fatty. Like, give him. And then my mom would never let me have my own bag. <laughs> I've been deprived of these. 
I've been deprived of these chain pizza restaurants. I live off of local spots and their weird infatuation to oregano. Ooh, I feel bad about that, actually, Barry. I can I understand exactly what you mean, and I feel bad for that. That sucks. Their pizza is mid. I feel like Little Caesars Pizza is pretty mid. I agree. There's some some kind of thing going on on social media, though. I've seen on, like, TikTok and Instagram reels and stuff, like, I've seen people trying some kind of, like, little, like, single bite uh, Little Caesar pizzas. <clears throat> While we're on the topic of pizza, do you think that pineapple belongs on Pizza Mac? Absolutely not. It's disgusting. No. Nope. I do not like pineapple on pizza at all. I don't like it. I don't like it. Bro, this hunt is this hunt is going to 5k. I promise you this hunt is going to 5k. <laughs> no, oh man. No. That is now the second egg I've given back. I gave an egg back super early on in the hunt on accident. And now I've given that back. <laughs> oh. I'm actually like mad depressed about that. That one was the shiny. 100% man. 100%. Is this the same copy of that you did Groudon hunts on? Yeah. This is the same copy I did Groudon on. Mickey D's. What up, Arts? Yo, I'm so sad about that actually. <clears throat> That's got to be a bad omen. I know. No, nah, I'm not a pineapple on pizza fan. I, I, It's something about... I don't know. I just don't really care for that flavor combination personally. I know a lot of people like it. I know it's a whole fun debate. But I really dislike pineapple on pizza. Plus, people... Not everybody, but there's like a lot of... I would say pineapple on pizza lovers are... Some of the weirdest, like, fast food arguers, they, um, like, they're so aggressive about it. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you don't like pineapple on pizza? You're, you're an idiot and you have terrible taste buds. Well, you're so dumb. It's like, Jesus. Bro, I don't actually care that you like pineapple on pizza, but, like, they care that we don't like it. McDonald's fries. There's got to be crack in McDonald's fries. 100%. 100%. You didn't know that's what they're made with? Why do you think people... Why do you think they're goaded? Drugs. <laughs> he was about to fight you. Bro, like, I mean, like, seriously. Like, people lose their mind when you tell them you don't like pineapple on pizza. Like, seriously, because I can't remember who asked me it. I think it was... Was it Dill Pickled? Somebody asked me. No, it was Andrew. Andrew asked me, and I was literally ready for Andrew to jump down my throat and be like, I can't believe you don't like pineapple on pizza. It's such a great combination. It's, it's so original and delicious. Like, okay. <laughs> go, go eat what you want, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I believe the acidity and the sweetness from the pineapple pizza doesn't fit well with the already sweet and acidic tomato t sauce. The tomatoes are already do enough to break down the fat of the cheese. Bro, Barry, no one asked for a whole thesis on pineapple on pizza. Honestly. <laughs> pineapple on pizza. Enjoyers get so aggressive. 
Please, I don't care if you enjoy. Exactly! They're nuts! That pineapple on pizza gang is like weird! It's weird people! Actually, I agree with you. I've tried pads and I thought it tasted bad. No, I was just, I'm, I'm not calling you out. I'm just saying, like, I was ready for you to, like, jump at me on this, on this topic. Pineapple on pizza is fire? Really? At times. Hmm. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If it is in front of me, if I have the opportunity, I will always try it. I will always give it a chance. I probably won't eat a whole slice. I'll take a bite. I'll take a bite. I'll try it. I would. I, I, I don't mind finding, you know, all these different spots across the country that serve different variations of pizza and put their twist on it. And you know what? If, if somebody orders a pineapple on pizza, uh, pizza, and then they've got it in here and they're like, you want to try a slice? You got to try a slice. You got to try it because that's usually how they are. I'll be like, all right, I'll try it. And I'll take a bite. And I'm going to say typically it has always been, hmm, I don't care for it. It's not, it's not good. I wouldn't ever order it. Pineapple and ham. It's got to be with something. Pineapple and ham. Um... I'm still I'm gonna still go with no, not on the pizza. Pineapple, onions, pepperoni, and jalapenos. That is a wild combination. Scratch that pineapple and you have me. You got me. I'm all about supreme pizzas. I can only have pineapple on pizza when it's chain restaurants pizza, not at a local spot. Local spots sometimes be trying too hard. Local spots do be trying too hard. I'm with you on that one. I've had I've had some crazy pizzas. Definitely. Balsamic vinegar. Y'all ever have balsamic vinegar on your pizzas? You guys balsamic vinegar fans? Anybody in chat a balsamic vinegar person with their pizza? I it's it's an aggressive flavor. Mac, what? What did I do? Why do you say balsamic vinegar like that? What am I saying wrong? Why did you say it? Okay, hold on. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic. Oh. Balsamic? Really? Balsamic vinegar. Oh, I said it normal! Balsamic vinegar. I said it normal! Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. What did I say? Balsamic vinegar. Bal balsamic? What did I say? Now I don't even know what I said! Balsamic vinegar. Vinegar. Vinegar? Oh, wait. I'm on the British pronunciation. Yo, hold on. Google automatically sent me to British. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Balsamic vinegar. <laughs> Balsamic vinegar. Bro, I feel like I said it right. Anyways, I got a shiny hop up already random encounter. Yo, Brian, let's go! Let's go in the Nuzlocke. That's beautiful. Yo, thank you for the $2 dono. You know how I started my Nuzlocke? With a shiny, because it's a shiny lock, right? Yo, are you in a... Sh Yo, it would take some time, but now you got a shiny lock. It. You've been talking like a Brit. There you go. Brother, we are in America. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Ball, balsamic vinegar. I feel like y'all been saying it wrong. I said it normal. I said it normal. Y'all are tweaking out here. Can we get back to the question? <laughs> no, it's not saw. It's not, it's not saw. It's. It's like this. Ball some mick. That's literally that's literally on Google. That's literally on Google. 
It's balsamic. Balsamic. Balls. All right. Can we get back to the question? Have you ever had it on pizza? Have you ever had balsamic vinegar on pizza? That's what's it's it's what's on Google, Andrew. Have you ever had it on pizza? I have had some of the most raunchiest pizza in my life. And it had balsamic vinegar on it. It's the worst thing ever. Disgusting. <laughs> no, 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 no. Barry, I think you're going to love this story. We had a friend come over one night um, when Ashley and I lived in an apartment. This friend came over. I can't remember who it was. I can't. I think I remember who it was, but I can't remember. Um, <coughs> and she cooked us some balsamic vinegar chicken. I was literally gagging. The smell in my apartment was so bad. It was literally unbearable. I was, it was dead of winter. It was like negative 15 degrees out probably. And I was like swinging this door, trying to just air out my apartment because it was just God awful. Oh, it was the worst thing. I don't know what she did. I don't know if she was like just pouring the balsamic vinegar straight onto the, onto the stove top and burning it. Oh, it was so awful. It was so awful. God, it was the, I was like, never. I, I literally told Ashley, I was like, that will never be cooked in our households ever again, ever. Balsamic vinegar chicken. The night at the apartment. Who was that? It was Shelby? Okay, no, I thought it was Shelby. You going to bed? I love you. Hey. If you go, okay, answer these questions first. Okay. If you go to Taco Bell, number one food item, what do you get? Chicken quesadilla. Okay, you go to McDonald's, number one food item, what do you get? Okay. Basic cheeseburger. Fries? Coke or Sprite? Coke. Coke. Okay, you go to, um, oh my god, what were the other ones we were talking about? Okay, in and out Where do, what do you get at in and out Fries? Shake? I don't know what, do you know what 4x4 four four is? I don't know what that is. I haven't, I haven't had the 4x4 four four animal style order, but it sounds interesting. Um, what were the other spots? I'm asking Ashley. She's pretty much lining up with we. We actually probably get a lot of the same stuff. Okay, chicken case. Although I had to Google, did you know chicken quesadilla is ranked as the sixth most popular item at Taco Bell by sales? Yeah, they only sell like a million a week. Do you know how many Crunch Wrap Supremes they sell per week? Over five million per week. I have. They're good. Four by four is four patties. No, oh, okay, never mind. I'm never gonna order that. Four patties. Yeah, I'm never gonna order that. Yeah. I'll just get a regular animal style. <laughs> never mind. I don't know what the four by four was. I that. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I like sardines on pizza. I've had it. It's not bad. Sent the hobby pick to the Discord. Okay. What other? I feel like there was other ones. I feel like there was other questions. Okay, if you had to pick. <clears throat> any you get to pick any spot in the entire world best fries tip but we're trying to stick fast food spots best fries what are you picking best fries oh. arby's curly, curly fries wow they're up there i did say they're, they're top 10 for sure but i don't think anybody beats mcdonald's I've had multiple people say we've we've had two two people say A and W, and and for me like I do remember A and W chili cheese fries, but hold up them curly fries though. <laughs> I now dub this as the fast food stream. It it pretty we've literally been talking about fast food for over an hour, you guys. Okay, good night. Good night. I love you. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Where were we? Balsamic vinegar. 
<laughs> Ashley goes, oh my God, you're so loud. I despise it. My mom made it once. I told her never make it again while I live in her house. Absolutely, Barry. You stand your ground. If your mom ever tries to make it again, you just, you let me know. You let me know. And I will get on the phone and I will talk to her. I will be like, Mrs. Barry's mom, we've had a lot of jokes about you in the past, but I will not be able to make jokes if you make balsamic vinegar ever again. It's not balsamic for it. It's not balsamic. If you are saying that it's balsamic vinegar, you're wrong. Mac, you scared me. She always tries to push her balsamic vinegar propaganda on me, and I tell her no every time because she's wrong, just like Burrett is wrong. Are you saying, are you trying to write out the pronunciation of balsamic Because that's not how it's said. I can even, I can play the Google Translate for you and it's not that. It's balsamic. 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 I like Samic. I don't care. Wait, hold on. Okay. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Try to say sa instead of say. <laughs> Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic. Oh my god. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. It's literally a mixture of what I think you're trying to. Saw. It's not saw. It's not saw. It's, there's no W for it. There's no. There's no W. There's no W. The W is wrong in your pronunciation writing. That's not how you say it. That's not right. Like they're pronouncing it closer. It, they're pronouncing it closer to how I pronounce it than what you're writing with a W. Is that your wife kept repeating it back to you, but I realized that was Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's just out here pronouncing balsamic vinegar to me. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Okay, hold on. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. <clears throat> Balsamic vinegar. All right. Balsamic vinegar. There's still no W. You're still wrong about the W for it. You're being too aggressive with the W. Because it's not saw. It's saw. It's not... There's no W, bro. It's double A. It's saw. Balsamic vinegar. It's not saw, like, with a W. It's too aggressive. So it's closer to balsamic vinegar. Balsamic. Plus, who cares? You sound like a moron. Any anytime anybody says, like, if if a word is is absolutely close, anybody t somebody calls somebody out for that stuff, like, I want to throat punch him. I call it balls vinegar. That's what it is. It's pretty much balls. Tastes like sweaty balls.
Now I have to fight for it when I get hit, when I get, when I see him in wherever. Where am I seeing you? Are you going to Orlando? Also, have you registered for LA? When we get to LA, it's on spot. It's on site, bro, not on spot. <laughs> on spot, on site. Is LA registration out? Bro, like a week ago, my dude. Like a week ago. Are you going to see the new Godzilla movie? Probably at some point. Uh, regionals and tournaments. Congratulations, you've registered for the Los Angeles Pokemon VGC Regional Championship. March 27th. March 27th. That was last Wednesday. So almost a week. Almost a week. The sight, the fact that I've never tasted that before, but I imagine that's what they taste like. Ask your mom. She's tasted them. <laughs> Ow! My sunburn! <laughs> oh, absolutely foul. You're correct. Still true, though. Still true, though. Still true, though. <laughs> Where did you get a sunburn? I live in Florida, bro. I was on the boat on Saturday. I spent the whole day out on the ocean. And I did not put on sunscreen. Where do I sign up? RK9.com. <clears throat> Go to... Like, I don't know, go to, yeah, it's RK9, like the letter R, the letter K, and the number 9, RK9.com. <coughs> you should be able to figure it out. Here's, here's a, here's a really inappropriate fact, but if you exist, it means your mom has probably had balls in her mouth at some point. Let's all live with that fact, okay? Let's just all live with that fact. What's a sunburn? This is a joke. Uh, a sunburn is um, where your skin gets burned by the sun. Please never say that again. That your mom has had balls in her mouth? Because it's true. Disgusting. Thanks for sharing with the class. You're welcome. <laughs> Can we take away your rights? No. I live in America where rights are valued over everything else. Oh, you're dying? Well, at least you have the right to die. Your mom is about to have balls in her mouth. All right, I got to go. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Andrew. And that's where Andrew leaves us. <laughs> Same. Adios. All right, later, Dill Pickled. I'm going to fill up this box. <laughs> Pause. Just like your mom. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna call it. So we're gonna hatch two more eggs and then I'm gonna pop off. My well-being is valued higher than your right. Sorry, not sorry, bucko. I'm gonna bring back Fido Poos and Balsamic. Balsam, it's not with a W, bro. It's not with a W. How I just said things, how I just said things reminded me of that video. You're gonna tell me? She came down in a bubble, dude. The Wicked Witch of the East? Do you guys remember that one? I love that video. I love that video. Gonna get my English teacher on the phone to teach you how to pronounce it. Bro, you're the one who needs help. There's no W. You're being too aggressive with the W. You're being too aggressive with the W, bro. Okay, dog. It sounds familiar. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. She came down in a bubble, dude. Oh, grow up. My hands are going to be aggressive with your face. Bro, I don't think you're even tall enough to reach up here, my little boy. Little boy. I'm going to literally put one arm out and hold you at arm's distance away. And you're going to just be like, huh, I can't get to him. He's a boy. You literally spell right is right earlier. You cannot be talking. Exactly. 
Too much emphasis on the W, Barry. Not enough on the correction. Correct spelling. Is this my final egg hatch? Oh, I actually hatched one more. All right, we are at 2,700 uh, on our road to 5K. Trying to hatch 5,000. Had to restart because I guess I somehow forgot about the Pommy who can Terra before a weekend. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! The shiny hop hip! <laughs> Brian! Oh, no! Get your height up. Every time we banter, you always resort to the same thing. Get creative. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I get my funny up, not my height up. Okay, hold on. Uh, what do I got in this switch? 924. Okay, hold on. I'm going to switch over to I'm going to switch over to this. <clears throat> I'm going to do this for like no, I'm not doing unicorn princess. It's not unicorn princess. Ah! Okay, fine. Oh, Lord, that sounds loud. That sounds loud. Update complete. Y'all gotta tell me if the Legends Arceus sounds are too loud. I'm gonna do Legends Arceus for a minute. I forgot my height, but I'm above 5'5". Five five. Oh, man. You're above 5'5", five five, huh? I'm 6'4". So... I'm tall. You guys got to tell me if it's too loud. So it'll be on you to tell me that. What is Mike slash Ox? I don't know what that is. Him, you don't look 6'4"? Yeah. <laughs> I am. <clears throat> <laughs> Which is crazy because, like, I feel like in a lot of my videos at the regionals and stuff, I'm way taller than everybody else. <laughs> if this is too loud, just tell me and I can turn it down. But otherwise, I'm going to do this for a little bit just because I can't, I can't keep doing this shelmet, bro. It's killing me. The shelmet is absolutely killing me, bro. Awful, man. You 5'10", you would frighten me. Turn it down a bit. Five one. I'm nothing but an atom to him. <laughs> nah, I, I uh, before Ashley, I, I dated a girl who was, uh, she was four foot eleven, and she was short. <laughs> I decided to not restart Nuzlocke and pretend that it was uh the game wanting them to win on purpose. Hey, you could pick up and throw Barry. Let's go check out let's go check out this. Let's go have some fun. I wanna have fun. I feel like I haven't been having fun with Pokemon. Let's see if we can get like a shiny alpha or something cool. 
that hoppet can't be lost. Bro, that's a pretty epic start to a Nuzlocke. Because you didn't have an intention for... Uh... Oh, cool. Let's go do this. Please don't throw me. Don't make me upset, and I won't throw you. You can be short and still be unthrowable. Just an FYI. Like, you could be 5'1", but you could be, like, 300 pounds. And I promise you, I can't throw that. Barry, he said you're 300 pounds. There is one more. I'm 5'8". <coughs> Hopefully you're still growing. No, I'm just kidding. I had a friend in college who had a, a, a serious like height complex and he just, he struggled with it. Replenish these aguave berries. Oh, okay. I didn't know they ran away. Let's see here. There's some Oshawats right over this stretch. Let's check out them. I, I, I hate, I hate doing the Oshawa throw. I hate these guys. Oh, helpful Oshawa, bro. Like, I, I hate doing all the starters because they're always like in just a ridiculously unnecessary catch level. Okay, nothing there. Let's do the rufflet because I would love to get an alpha shiny rufflet so I can get an alpha shiny Hisui and Braviary. That'd be cute, that'd be cool. I miss them? No. They're up. Jets are cool. Wait, Brian flies jets? That's actually super sick. Brian is a jet. Whoa, even cooler. Brian has jet engines, man. Shows no time signs of stopping anytime soon. Let's go. Let's go. I looked on Twitch this afternoon to see if there was anything I wanted to <coughs> put on. To watch in the background while I work. I saw like 30 something uh, viewers watching um, Legends Arceus live streams. Neither to come out with a new Pokemon game. Facts, bro. It's pretty dull right now. 
Here's my alpha shiny spear tomb that I got though. Look at this guy. Wait, 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 what happened? Oh, I'm being targeted. What's up, Nick? Would you look at that? It's the mod. Why are you so jealous, bro? Why are you jealous of me, Nick? It's crazy. My dude. Ban him. No, it looks all right. He's like, he's like a uh, poor man's troll. I did always targeting on the furthest away. I like how he winds up his arm. What the? I'm happy he's mod. Debbie and him. I'm thinking I can be on to B2 on Vishmi. Ah, oh, it's just saying. It's just my chokes. Uh, I've been muted countless times. I think he's talking about you. Banned once. He's saying you're a bad mod. <laughs> Yeah, get angry. No one cares. You're so unserious. Wait, what? <laughs> He's gonna go up the tree. Oh, he got me! Wait, are you the last one? Oh my god, I super don't care about you. Who are you talking about, kind sir? Nick is not a kind sir. Nick is a, a angry little boy. I'm Bishmi's favorite viewer to be honest. Nah, false, bro. That's you are second. Second, I don't miss a stream. Monkey, hey yo, the racism out here is wild. Bro, the monkey, bro? Oh, what an aggressive comment. Look at Alpha. Wish that was shiny. Bet y'all didn't know that Nick is a super racist. Mussolini is total, total totalitarian. Well, who's first? I already said me. <laughs> Nick is mad racist. Uh, is there anything else I care about checking? Hmm. I mean, I can go over to the... Ooh, Alpha Drifloon, bro. I'm second then. Told you. Didn't even fight me for it. That's how you know he's not first. Didn't even fight me for it, bro. Ah. I think these guys run away. I think they don't, like, attack you. I have to like attack one of them though. Run away. It's not worth it. I even have my own command. So do I. I had a command before you did. Person to have one on his stream. Nope, I have a com I had a command on his stream. I'm one of the OGs, bro. I'm one of the OGs. You ain't got nothing on me, Nick.
I'm a O. You're an O? You're an O? <laughs> I had a command before all of you. I came way before you, or your. You actually didn't. That's crazy. Brain, get out of here. <laughs> Not the brain, bro. Get up the mountain. Yeah, you know, for it, he's got that fourth grade spelling ability. Racist and rude. Wow. What's going on, man? Oh, God, that was so loud. Who said that? Oh, Dustin, what's up? What's up, man? Hang on a second. I gotta put my headphones on. Dude, so you were screaming at that coming and say, hey chat, what's going on? <laughs> Hold on. You good. Oh yes. Oh yes. The uh the headphones in the in the hood, bro. Headphones in the hood. Cause otherwise they can't hear what you're saying, so hold on. Wait, I'm just loading up my PC. Oh, oh. So loud. Okay. I think you're good. I think I got it now. Alright, cool. Hold on. I'm logging uh, in. Give me a second. Can Dustin take your spot on stream, including your mother? Excuse me? Don't make me not have a conversation with your mother, Greg. Right? I'll be right back. Violet has way too many cutscenes in audio. I yeah, I, Violet felt Violet and Sword and Shield. My complaint about them is that I, was, I think you should be able to turn off tutorials and stuff because they're too handholdy. Too handholdy, bro. Uh, this is my friend Dustin. Friend Dustin. Fine, it's fine. I have to go check that stupid tree in agony. Just chilling. Shine, let's be honest. I'm a big OG. You're not, though. I'm Bishmi's second favorite. Oh, you're not even top five. In terms of Bishmi's favorites? No, you're not even top five. Bro did not forget about me. Bro has a good memory. Dog, what? You heard me. You heard me. I'm gonna ask him. I mean, he's gonna lie. How you think you're gonna ask him and he's not gonna lie? Like, oh yeah. Again with the monkey? Damn, the racism is crazy out here, bro. It's wild. I Santa one. Yeah, should we ban him? <laughs> I feel like moderators should be able to start momentary polls on YouTube, just like they do on Twitch. That'd be fun. I do wish YouTube would do some more to like support streaming on its platform. No, I'm good. I'm gonna stop. I think I checked all the alphas here. What are you up to, Dustin? What are you doing? Should we remove Nick's rights? Barry, I already told you, you can't remove people's rights. This is America. It's a joke. It's a joke. Just a joke. I'm too lazy to press ban, so you could. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright, 
Oh, there you go. Chat, you can do what I, I can do. Can the, can the chat hear me too or not? You should be able to. Oh, okay, I better, I better keep it down then. I was going to say some stuff about politics, but I'm not going to go that far. Shiny, am I your favorite? Um, I'm going to go with a really courteous and nice. No. We can hear you, Rusty Dusty. <laughs> That's not even funny, but it's funny. <laughs> In his favorite, <laughs> I'm his favorite by far. There's, there's people I can vibe with a lot more easily than you, Nick. Let's just say that. Dang, no shinies on this whole thing. That's crazy. Who is my favorite? Um, who's my favorite viewer? I I don't. I, this this feels like a parent moment where I'm not supposed to pick favorites. It probably is least favorite. <laughs> Yo, Dustin. Uh, so so, so the, the poll today is about fries. Yep, like, I saw it. Which, what are you picking? That place we went to when I came for vacation two years ago with the wings, they had some awesome fries, bro. Boulevard? It does have yeah. really... Does have really... Keep it like... We're keeping it like fast foodie, though. Okay, fast foodie? Yeah. I've got a... One second. Night. I gotta say, probably, I'm gonna go with Smashburger then. I would say Smashburger's fast foodie because they got those garlic fries. Yeah, no, it is. Fantastic. For sure. Yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad answer. Smashburger has not been said tonight. That's not a bad answer, actually. I wasn't sure <coughs> if that Smashburger's like a chain or just Because we intertwined like that. I would say, I would say Smashburger's up there, for sure. It's kind of like Five Guys. I feel like their stuff reminded me a lot of Five Guys. Five Guys isn't bad, but Smash Burger always tops. I feel like it's always fresh. They're always fresh. They're always good. I like Smash Burger's truffle bad. fries. Forgot about Smash Burger. Because there's so many spots, you guys. <clears throat> there's so many spots with fries. Like, it's impossible to remember everything. It's impossible. The, the question you should be asking is, who has the best chicken sandwich? Because there's so many places you can get chicken sandwiches from. You got the Burger King, you got Chick Fil A, you got Popeyes, you got Church's Chicken, you got KFC. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. The best chicken sandwich to me. So I, here's the thing. I don't think I can say. I can say like there's like my go-to chicken spots, obviously, but they they're all a little bit different. So Jose, I've been waiting for so long so I can get a space time distortion. That's a bummer. I do remember the pain of that. That it's been an entire hour and one hasn't spawned. So Jose, if you didn't know this, one of the things about space time distortions is they have static timers when you enter the location. So there is a 15 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute, and one hour. And I, there might be one like longer than that, but I, I thought what I remembered it was just those four. So it means that you would only get one every that. So if you don't have one after like 15 minutes of being in the area, the recommendation is to head back to the village and reset your spot. Um, so if I pick a chicken spot, if I pick a chicken place to get a chicken sandwich, okay? Here's the thing. I can't deny Chick-fil-A's chicken. Super good. Sandwich. It's pretty average, bro. Like, I don't really, I don't, I don't think people know what they're talking about when they're like, Chick-fil-A is the greatest sandwich. Nah. I disagree. Yeah, I disagree. But their chicken is good. It's juicy. It's, that's all right. It's thick. No pause. <laughs> no pause. That's, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, man, it open. Uh, their sandwiches are the only ones that don't make my stomach feel like it's gonna. Improve. Probably because there's nothing to them, Barry. It's literally just chicken. 
You know what sound has never been beaten for me? The KFC Double Down. To this day, it is still one of my favorite sandwiches. Isn't that the one that had like, like the sandwich was made out of chicken? Yes. And it had bacon and cheese and cheese sauce. <laughs> There's no shot at your age, you're still eating. No, they don't make it anymore. If they brought it back, there's no shot at your age that your body is good with you eating. Want to bet? Want to bet? When they brought it back to the album before, I ate it every single day till it was gone. <laughs> You're hurting my ears? Throws racist. Dog, I'm a girl. Nick, you are not a girl. You're not 16. And you are racist. No one. He's racist and sexist. Oh, shoot. Dang it, Nick. Nick's probably a neo. Yeah. I'm just, I'm literally just try, uh, trying to get a shiny because we've had some bad luck in the uh, switch. Nick's a 45 year old man who lives with his mother. Two children at home who hate him because he's emotionally unavailable and too busy to eat. Excuse me, Mary? I'm in my room watching on my phone. Yeah, it's a pattern. No, I'm just kidding. It's a good I'm kidding. It's creepy, though. Creepy. Creepy and racist. I'm going here with the monkey comments. You have <laughs> Don't you have a schoolyard to stock? There you stop projecting. Why oh, you ask? Nick, 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 hear me out. Now. Maybe you shouldn't. Nick is not not allowed to be in school. <coughs> Nick was banned from schoolyards schoolyards a long time ago. And not for the reason you think. I gonna learn? You are hopeless in that department. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Back in phone not in the game. Ah, yes, the infamous schoolyard incident of 2009. Have you seen Pokemon Metal Glitch? All the typing metal that I can be on. Oh, like it's a glitch in the actual games? Oh, Pokemon Go! Metal glitch. Is that the Alpha Quillfish? Where's the Alpha Quillfish there? Guess what? None of us can do it. Whatever you say, Nick. 
Creepy Nick. Man, be real. Who's your favorite? Who is my favorite? I I vibe with the adults who I can rock with. Uh, obviously. I mean, Izzy Izzy is Izzy's goaded, bro. I I mean, like you can't have a conversation of like all-time viewers and Izzy not be right up there, right there at the top. <clears throat> but I I do love the cough membership cough. <laughs> Y'all yeah, you're trying to buy my love so, for some re weird reason. Um, also, thank you for the $5 dono. Brian is obviously my favorite. For five more dollars, for you can also be my favorite. How crazy are you? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to battle you. Leave me alone. Don't make me battle you. What if I donate a hundred bucks? Am I your favorite? For that moment in time, you can be my favorite, Nick. Weird. Weird. Sure. For it's an ankle biter? Dang, it's that's weird. Spell favorite right first, and then maybe. Oh yeah, it is spelled favorite. Favorite. I'm an adult. You haven't reached this level of favoritism yet. My favorite viewers. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real blunt. I like. You know. I'm not. I just hate the fakeness of some of the live streaming. But I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm putting a down payment on being favorites. Wait. I can actually favorite these. I can like, I can favorite them. All right, I favorited Brian's. This is my favorite donation of mine. Okay, so here's my actual, like here's how I, I actually enjoy viewers. If you have the right level of sarcasm, and most commonly I find that in adults. If you have the right level of sarcasm, like Brian, I'm gonna give Brian some credit. Brian is on par, on pace with me. Okay, he knows. I remember that week. We were vibing that week of, uh, of terror raids because, bro, it was, he was right there. I knew every struggle we were going through. He's like, oh, my. Good try, bro. Dog, I don't check my spelling. Anymore. Dog, just spell it right in the first place. Brian is hilarious. Brian's, Brian's on pace. Spoo is another one who I feel like is very much in that in that ca uh, capacity. An alpha man type of just. Okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no shinies again. Look at that, guys. We got a shiny. Oh, we got a shiny. Shiny Stroopy. Why do you keep saying that, Nick? Uh, I'm a girl in training 17 and being 18. Yeah, that's weird. Don't give that information out. I'm not here to judge you for whatever you identify as. Why are you ca Nobody cares. That's that's true. What about me, Mac? What about you? Like, are you my? I'm probably at the bottom. You're not. Know. <laughs> I like monkeys. Like, oh. Y'all stop sharing ages and birthdays and stuff. Just knock it out. I need it. Cut that out. A palm, A I P O M. All right, what time is it now? Ten o'clock. Right, 
We got a shiny. Arsenic. What's up? Haven't been here in a while? Well, welcome. He was a boy this whole time, guys. I'm a real boy! Uh -huh. I've, uh, I've brownies in the oven, so who wants some? Uh, alright, what kind of brownies? Special brownies? Hmm. What kind of brownies? Are we talking about adult brownies or child brownies? I made some special brownies with some secret ingredients. It sounds gross. It sounds really gross. I'm a miner. They're just normal brownies. All right, we got one shiny. And that's just sad. Where does this go? Right next to this groups. I will make them in the bathroom. Oh my god, bro. Alright. I am uh I'm gonna get out of here. It's been two hours. That's an hour longer than I thought I was gonna stream for. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, I'm going to bounce. Uh, thank you guys for coming through. You guys are interesting. <laughs> it's been a weird night. I hope you enjoyed talking about fast food for over an hour. And, uh, yeah, go check the shiny. What's shiny? I just looked at it. I mean, it's just Legends Arceus, so it doesn't feel like anything. But well, we got a shiny tonight. Uh, we're, we're 27, probably 2,700, 2,800 eggs for, for Shelmet. I don't, I don't know what's to say about that hunt. Weird. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get him out of here. I won't be on tomorrow night. I will be on Thursday night. So, no stream tomorrow, but I'll be back Thursday. So, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button before you head out. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later.